Hey guys, Nick here with Nick's Whip Shop, and we have a very, very special whip in the whip shop tonight. We're going to do a little bit of target work with it. Sometimes I'll feel like my plating abilities are starting to get a little... I'll start to rush, not take my time, and whenever I start to feel like my plating is on the verge of getting a little sloppy, I like to uh, do something that I did here today, and I'll explain that now. I like to go very small on a micro scale, and that's what I've done here today. What we have here is a three foot, 16 flat snake whip, Ruhide, all Ruhide with two plated bellies underneath a 16 flat overlay. And here it is. I really wanted to put my, or just push my plating ability to the limits. And I think that I've done that in this whip. 16 plat. And you can see that it's only about 3 fourths inch, 3 fourths of an inch, the diameter. I have this nice handle here, uh, sorry, I have this nice uh, heel knot here. It took a long time. And it ends in a 6 uh, point fall hitch. Um, I've got this particular hide. I had quite a few leftover um, scrap pieces. Actually, this is from a whip that I I made a while back, a Ruhide whip, and I didn't like it. Uh, it was kind of one of the first Ruhide whips that I made, and so I tore it apart and used the scraps to build this guy. And I really wanted to just go all out. I call this a micro pocket whip, really. So we're going to test it out with some of these little candles. We're going to put them out. And it's really nice for, you know, indoor. You don't need a lot of room to, to get it to crack, you know. It, I found that doing some just overhand flicks in rapid succession are really kind of nice. So it's nice for a rainy day or whatever when you're inside and can't get out. Or you don't have a wax nylon whip. So anyway, we're going we're gonna to show you how it works here. I think you guys might think it's interesting. It's a three-foot whip. It's nice. It's really just kind of smooth, you know. So here we go. I'm gonna go from left to right for you guys. Here we go. What in the world is that? I had a piece of tape stuck to the cracker. splash on that second to last one. But here it is, you know, I just, I really wanted to kind of step back from my everyday whip making and go all out. I just wanted to push it to the limits because a lot of the times I find that when I am struggling with something, I'll go, I'll take it down to a small scale and take a long time on it. So that way when I go back to my regular, you know, a 12 plat nylon whip, with big strands, everything's easy to get to grip because it's so big. It really works easily for me. Um, another example was, uh, I'm, you know, kind of done talking about whips. So if you guys want to turn off the video, understand. Uh, just talking about whip making in general. Uh, it's similar to other other things and other challenges. Uh, I play guitar. I've been playing guitar for quite a while. Uh, if you would like to check out any of my other videos of me playing guitar, search my name and type in guitar, Nick Schrader Guitar. It's another YouTube channel that I have. But it's similar to whip making in that it, it's a certain size. The neck is a certain size, and you can play different things, and it'll sound good, but sometimes you feel like it gets complicated, just like anything else. So I started playing mandolin, which is a much smaller neck. Everything's tiny, small scale, so I'm just picking away. My fingers are barely fitting on the fretboard. So I played mandolin for a while, and when I switched back to guitar, 
It felt so much more open. There was so much room to do whatever I wanted on the fretboard. All these different scales and modes that I could play. And mandolin really helped me with that. Because the difference in neck size, mandolin is tiny. You know, you're like this. And guitars, everything is huge now. So that's kind of what the idea I had in doing this with. I built this, the plating was like this, micro, tiny, small scale. So now when I go back to making my full size bull whips, it's gonna be, there's a lot more room for me. I'm not used to it. So I'll probably, hopefully do a lot better now. So thought I'd share this video with you guys and show you this little neat little whip. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video, guys.